I am absolutely thrilled to be joined today by uh, one of our ma many Mesa stars, uh, now in her second year at UCSD. I am joined today and I'm proud to introduce the, the future doctor, Ashley Purizari, um, now majoring in nanoengineering with a focus on chemical engineering here at UCSD. Uh, before transferring to UCSD in fall 2011, uh, Ashley was recognized as our 2010-2011 female Mesa Female Student of the Year. She was also recognized that same uh, summer as a Association for Women in Science Scholar, becoming the seventh uh, female in our Mesa program, Mesa Creator, to be recognized as such a scholar. And, and today we have the opportunity to, to, to meet Ashley uh, here at UCSD. Um, Ashley, great to see you. Great to see you, Ash. Um, have some questions for Ash. I want to begin with, tell us, how do you like it here at UCSD? And what are your Mesa brothers and sisters back at City College what do they need to know to be successful when they transfer here to UCSD? I loved it here at UCSD. I was very scared to come here. I was a victim oh. at first, but I was very prepared after I watched other students come to the Mesa program to come and speak with um, transferring students to UCSD. And they told me everything that I really was happy that they came because I really needed to know and I ended up doing really great my first year at UCSD. Now, I love it here because I feel like I've really adapted to um, the college lifestyle and also to um, the, uh, using my Mesa culture of success with other students here. And for other students that are hoping to transfer to UCSD or any other university, one thing that I learned upon coming here is that it's very important that you know how to study on your own first before you get into a study group. Because one thing I did in the Mesa Center was I would form study groups and we would study together all of the time. Right. But coming to UCSD, I learned that I need to study by myself first to really grasp the information by myself before I get with another study group and we share our opinions and our ideas on everything. So that's one thing I definitely recommend. Second, networking. Get involved the minute you get to school. The minute you come to UCSD, you should be calling all of the laboratory professors that you want to work for because they fill up very fast and especially as a transfer student, if you want to make those last two years memorable and if you want to make sure that you get an internship with a really great professor, you need to bother them, you need to call them, you need to email them. If they don't respond to you, you need to put a letter under their door. <laughs> I know this because I did this. And, and you know, also getting involved in internships. With the MESA program, we were able to network with so many different um, companies. And because of the MESA program, I was able to get an internship um, at the UCSD Medical School. And that internship really helped me network upon entering UCSD. And because of that, I was able to work in another laboratory that I wanted and get paid for an entire year. So also, I learned of other different academic programs where they can fund you to work in a laboratory of your choice, something that I know is a difficult thing for a lot of students because they have to worry about paying for rent and tuition and then also you know, taking classes and working full time can be difficult, but if you can work in a laboratory and get paid and it's correlating with your classes, that's even better. Um, one other thing I would like to mention with um, coming to UCSD is don't be afraid to get involved in extracurricular activities. Something that I didn't do my first year, but I'm doing now and I'm really happy about it. You know, you can have a really strenuous curriculum but it's also really important that you learn how to relieve stress in whatever way works for you. For me, there's an awesome gym at UCSD, so REMAC, I make sure that I go there at least two to three times a week. And also, I think it's important for me, personally, I like to sing, and that's a really great way to relieve stress. 
um, singing, I've joined UCSD Dots, Daughters of Triton, and that's been a really good way for me to release my, my stress. And with the Mesa time management system, I've been able to manage my classes with my study time and my extracurriculars. And now, you know, I'm enjoying my UCSD campus life, and I'm studying really hard, and I'm really enjoying it here. Fantastic. It's clear that Ashley has been, has excelled here at UCSD since transferring from San Diego City College. I should also add, not only is she a scholar, she's been recognized with scholarships, she's also a researcher. And hopefully, very soon, she also will be published in recognition of her work. But tell us, Ash, um, UCSD does not have a MESA program. Uh, how different is your experience here at UCSD as compared to City College with, where we do have our MESA program? Well, I feel like when I had, was in the MESA program at City College, I felt like it was um, like being on training wheels on a bicycle because I was given all these, all these um, great words of wisdom, this culture of success, and I was given guidance. Um, and you know, I took full advantage of that, but now being at UCSD without a MESA program, I feel like I've taken those training wheels off. <laughs> and now you know, I'm running with the varsity players. And um, I think that it's really great, especially at UCSD, because there are a lot of students from San Diego City College from the MESA program that are currently attending here, and I still actually study with them. So we've definitely brought the MESA culture of success with us here, but I've also learned to share it with other people, and now being at UCSD and forming study groups with people that I'm in class with, I share my the things that I've learned at, at MESA program, like MESA rules, keeping it simple. Um, also, I've um, learned uh, some, a great, uh, a great. Um, I learned about the smart pen oh, yes. from the Mesa program, and I'll uh, mention that really quick. The smart pen saved my life here, and for anybody transferring, I highly recommend buying the smart pen. Two gigabytes is all I have, and it's still lasting me in my second year at UCSD. It's um, a great way to, and especially to communicate with other students that may not have gotten the notes that day, a smart pen records while you're writing on digital paper. So I've been able to share that culture with other students and they've been able to um, learn from it and they've all bought in smart pens too. <laughs> so it's been a, it's been a great um, tool for me from the MESA program that I learned bringing it here to UCSD. You know, and, and I'm glad you mentioned that. I, it, it's clear to us uh, that you are a Mesa creator, that you own the Mesa culture. You certainly have brought it here uh, to UCSD and not, not only used it and applied it, but you're sharing that with others. So you're, you're impacting those around you at UCSD. But tell us, um, where, where would Ashley Porzari be today without the Mesa, Mesa program? Gosh, that's such a big question. I mean, without the Mesa program, I wouldn't have been involved in so many internships so early on. I would have been too um, afraid to apply for scholarships. I wouldn't have had all of the preparation upon entering UCSD that I had the first year that I came here. I wouldn't have the tools that I have now. I wouldn't have had the networking abilities to be able to go and network with people for internships or network with students for my classes to make study groups. And I think without Mesa, I mean, I would have been a completely different person. I don't think I would have been as successful without that guidance, those training wheels that I had early on with the Mesa program. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I, I, I'm thinking as I'm, as I'm hearing you, as I'm listening to you, and. And of course, uh, we're also very proud of you. Um, the Mesa culture um, has a capstone that identifies four qualities for the Mesa creators to aspire to achieve. And that is skills, knowledge, wisdom, and freedom. And it's clear to me that you are well on your way to achieving all of those skills 
and achieving, you're truly achieving your freedom. And basically, there is nothing that you cannot do. You are an inspiration to all of us. We're so proud of you, and we're proud to call you our Mesa Creator from San Diego City College. Congratulations, Ashley. Thank you.